Hi students, we just finished chapter six called Bullseye and Jenny B. Jones and the Yucky Bucky Fruitcake. And what do you guys remember from chapter six? What happened? Well, Jenny B. Jones was in line to hit the smudge at her principal, but who did she hit instead? She hit her classmate, Jim, because he was um, teasing Jenny B. Jones because she missed hitting the principal in the face with a sponge. So she hit him instead, and she hit him right in the face. So that's why that chapter was called Bullseye. And um, she, once she did that, she ran away into the jumpy house. And then once she got out, she ran into her parents, and she was really scared about being in trouble. But then she couldn't find one of her shoes from leaving, but her father was like, it's fine. I'll look for your shoes and you go on to the cakewalk. And then we're now, we're on chapter seven and it's called winning. And not when is it going to snow, like um, like when as your um, spelling words for this week, but winning, like you either win or lose something, like you either win a game or lost it a game. But this is a good sign because... Jenny B. Jones has been determined to win for how long now? Since the beginning of the book. So this is a good sign. But I can't wait to read what this chapter is about. Chapter 7. Winning. Room 9 looked very fun. Music was playing in that place. And children were marching in a circle. They were stepping on big squares of paper with numbers on them. That's the cakewalk, Mother explained. You walk around in a circle until the lady stops the music. Then she pulls a number out of her hat, and if you're standing on the square with the same number, you win a cake. Mother pointed to a table with cakes on it. See all the delicious cakes you have to choose from, she said. I looked at it, all the delicious cakes. Then my mouth got very watery, and I did a little bit drool on myself. Ooh, I love cake. What about you guys? What's your favorite kind of cake? Let's see. I Honestly, I just like the original birthday cake with a lot of icing. Um, the lady reached into... Wait. And all of a sudden, the music stopped, and all the children stopped, too. The cake lady reached into a hat. She pulled out a number. Number five, she said very, very loud. Hey, that's me. I'm on five, shouted a boy with red hair. Then he ran right into the cake table and picked out a chocolate one for his prize. Yum, I said. This this looks like the most delicious game I ever saw. I gave the cake lady my ticket. Guess what, I said. This is my last chance to win a prize, except for I won a comb. And also, I got a I also got to throw a sponge at, at the kid I don't like. Plus, I jumped till sweat came on my head, and then I couldn't find my shoe named Leather, and so that's how come I have a soft foot. The lady looked funny at me. Oh, yes, well, uh, good luck to you, she said. Good luck to you, too, I said back. Then I skipped very fast to the squares with numbers on them. Okay, okay, ready, anytime you are, I yelled. But the cake lady kept on waiting and waiting for other kids to come. It took a very long time. That's how, that's how come I got ants in my pants. I did huffing and puffing and then I folded my arms. And I tapped my foot very fast. Hey, I'm not getting any younger over here, I shouted. Finally, the cake lady clapped her hands. Boys and girls, I'm going to start the music now. And I would like you to march in an order, orderly circle. But remember, as soon as the music stops, you stop too. After that, she turned the music way loud. I did my bestest marching. My feet were very bouncy and my knees went way high in the air. Then all of a sudden, just like before, the music stopped. And all the children stopped too. The cake lady reached into her hat. Ooh, do you think she's going to win? You have to find out. Drum roll. Number three, she hollered out. I looked down at my square. Hey, it's me! It's me! Look, I'm standing on number three! <laughs> and so I'm the winner, I think! Mother clapped her hands. It is you! You are the winner, she yelled. She had relief on her face. Whew. 
Go pick out a cake, any cake you want, she said. I zoomed to the cake table and looked at all the yummy flavors. There was chocolate and orange and lemon and white and coconut and cupcakes and donuts and brownies. Oh man, this is making me hungry. Also, there was a secret cake wrapped in a shiny aluminum foil. What kind is that one? I asked. The lady, the lady wrinkled her nose. Oh, I don't think you would want that one. That one is a fruit cake, she said. I smelled real big. Yeah, I hollered. Yeah, for the delicious fruit cake, because fruit is the bestest thing I love. And so that's the one I picked. Mother shook her hand. No, Ginny B, it's not the kind of fruit you think it is. You're not going to like it. I stopped smiling. Only, that's not fair in a square. That's not fair and square of you, because you said I could pick any cake I wanted, and now I picked the fruit cake, and you said I can't have it. Mother rolled her eyes up at the ceiling. Fine, take the fruit cake, she groused. She lifted it she lifted it off the table for me. No, me, me, I want to carry it, I hollered. It's very heavy, said mother. Yeah, only that's how come I have muscly muscles in my arms, I explained. I bit my arm to show her, see, see, see my muscle bump? <laughs> that's how come that's how strong I am. Finally, mother put the cake in my arms. It dropped on the floor. Whoa, I said, that is the strongest fruit I ever felt. Now do you want me to carry it? Mother asked. No, I said, because I just got a great idea in my head. Then I put the heavy cake of fruit down on the floor and I dragged it right out of room nine. And that's the end of chapter seven winning. And then chapter eight is the most useful cake I love. Ooh, we have to read on to chapter eight to see if she likes the fruit cake that she thinks she'll like it. But I'm glad that Jenny B. Jones won something because she deserved to win because she was very determined to win. She worked hard at winning. She finally succeeded at something. So I'm happy for her that she won. But I wonder if she's going to like the cake. We'll have to read on chapter eight next time to find out if she'll like it. Catch you guys next time.